Hey all, um, this might be a bit of a controversial video. It's about how to be less gay and feel sexually masculine as a straight man. So let's start with a disclaimer. I'm not judging anyone. I'm saying it as it is. I'm straight. I don't know how it is for gay or lesbian people. I'm just informing about the Holy Spirit as I know it. So this video, it concerns the second chakra the orange one, it concerns writing and reading and creativity, also sexuality and fooling around with, for me, women, and I mean touching each other and such. So first there are two concepts to understand. The first concept is chakras can be neutral, masculine or feminine in form and movement. A neutral is imagined as a sphere of light, in this case orange. Masculine is imagining it as a wheel with spokes, for example. And this wheel can turn, and turn it to the right, or clockwise, as seen from your eyes outward, or right as in towards your right hand. This is nice, stable energy. Turn it left or counterclockwise, and this is risky, less common energy. For example, for the root chakra, clockwise means having a nice house, and counterclockwise, or left, means renting a house. For example, um, you can also turn it upward in a circle. This means some form of surrender. And you can turn it downward in a circle. This is dominating. For the root chakra, this means surrendering your survival and home to God. Or it means owning a house when turning downward. But one should uh, be aware that um, the Holy Spirit doesn't like to be dominated. Now about the feminine, this is imagining the chakra as a flower. It can open and bloom around a bit. This gives feminine energy and thoughts concerning the chakra's related energy. Now the second concept to understand, there are deviations from straight uh, to the right side of the second orange chakra as seen from one's eyes. One can feel another energy center is being at the same height in the body as the orange chakra in the middle. This feels kind of gay in neutral form. In masculine form, it is definitely gay. In feminine form, this is lesbian. Um, beware to the right side of the gay and lesbian center are worse kinds of sexuality, which is better not discussed. Well, to the left side of the second chakra is also another energy center. It's about being sexually deviant. And I mean leather, kink, as I'm. And to the left of that first deviant center is even more deviant sexuality, and it's also better not discussed. One can explore for oneself. Please understand, I'm not judging anyone for who they are or how they feel. But I do feel that trauma or consistent misuse of one's energy as can have one stuck in a certain way of feeling. One might not know the way back. So the way to feel straight is to use the second chakra right in the middle of the body. This goes for all main chakras, but we're talking about the orange one here and sexuality. <coughs> and to feel more masculine, learn to turn this feeling as a wheel with spokes. Turn the spokes. This might be hard at first. You can allow a little room for error, but don't do this too much or you'll have unwanted energies and thoughts. So turn, it, uh, so turn it straight upward, and for me, as a straight guy, I, I get sexually masculine energy in a surrendering way. Do not turn it downward, as this is a form of control, and understand that chakras are part of the Holy Spirit, and it would like you to practice surrender instead. For women, imagine it as a flower blooming, opening fully and closing a little to open up again. Do this facing straight forward instead of sideways. Imagine the wheel of flower orange and see for yourself. So again, I'm not here to judge, but please share your experiences. And I'm saying this because I believe chakras and its energy and awareness is part of the Holy Spirit. And I'm not here to make you feel less good with yourself, although there might be some resistance you have to overcome to align with the straight position of the chakras. 
I'm not here to turn gay or lesbian people into straight people. That's not my intention. Just know, don't allow too much room for error with the chakras or the Holy Spirit. And learn to be masculine or feminine as you desire. This, together with the root chakra, sets a firm base for spiritual progression into higher chakras and energies. Thank you.